there. My name's Tom. Tom Molino, KE3GK. And welcome to my ham radio shack. I became a ham, or I got my ham license in November of 1991. Right now I'm an advanced class ham radio operator. And for the last few uh, 27, 28 years, I've been playing uh, CW, sideband, and everything else that comes along with ham radio. The ham radio shack that you're looking at now <clears throat> has changed many times in the last 27 years. Actually, I'm going on number 28 in November. It's morphed many, many times with computer upgrades, radio upgrades, antenna upgrades. Right now, what I'm using for my main rig is a 1990s rig, a Kenwood TS690 SAT. My backup rig is an older Kenwood TS440 SAT. And I have another backup to my backup rig, which is an ICOM 737. At one point, uh, let me put this headset away here. At one point, I was going to get into satellite communications with the ICOM or the Yesu uh, 736R, which is uh, sitting here on top of the uh, counter. Uh, but uh, I, I never got fully a chance to get into uh, satellite communications. Uh, I guess, uh, I don't know if it was laziness on my part uh, or not, but uh, I hooked up with uh, a group of guys back in November or October of 2017, Northeast Maryland Amateur Radio Club and Contest Society. So for basically the last year, I've been into contesting. Uh, which is a lot of fun, extremely uh, uh, taxing, but at the same time, a lot of fun. Uh, the group of guys that uh, I contact with or contest with um, are a great bunch of guys, uh, and, and we have an extreme amount of fun doing this stuff. And we look forward to contest. Uh, I think we may participate in uh, five, six, seven contests every year, the big ones and then uh, the little ones as they come along. The antennas that I'm using uh, I have recently upgraded. I, at one point I was just using a 10 through 80 meter dipole for everything and at the behest of the uh, guys uh, uh, in, the, in the contest group there or uh, more or less the ribbing <laughs> that I got um, I upgraded to a uh, 10 through 80 meter end fed uh, wire antenna and a hex beam, uh, 6 meter through 20 meter hex beam. And that uh, has proven exceptional when it comes to contesting, especially with a rotor on top of it. Uh, uh, so I can spin it around and um, uh, point it just about in any direction I want to. So. Uh, that uh, really is uh, what I'm doing now, uh, I, uh, contesting and uh, uh, recently got into uh, the FT8 uh, communications uh, the, with the grid square. Uh, it's not a contest, but uh, the grid square, um, I'll call it a contest, uh, um, for the last, um, well, since January of this year. And uh, there's been a couple of guys in the uh, NEMARC um, group that also do FT8 and uh, we're trying to rack up grids and contacts and that type of stuff. And we, uh, we help each other out uh, uh, looking for new and unique grids uh, to, uh, to make contact with. And that's, a, that's a, a lot of fun too, especially with this down cycle, this down sunspot cycle. Uh, FT8 uh, provides communications where uh, a lot of times sideband or even CW would not uh, make the grade. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching this video and uh, 
I'm glad that you had a chance to uh, uh, see my shack and um, uh, have fun uh, have fun watching this. So until I see you on the air, sideband, CW, FT8, VHF, UHF, whichever, I'll say 73.